see you. But when you showed up, are you willing to put something in? And many times we're not willing to put something in and we're waiting for someone else. Have you ever been invited to a dinner or a party and you came empty handed? Everybody else brought something. But you showed up to take something. Always taught most of the time when you're going to something, you should bring something with you. Am I right? Although you were invited, it's nice to bring something. But many times we come to take something. And many times we don't even say thank you. How many in here today, how many that are watching, chooses not to be obedient to the voice of God? We've all been through struggles. We've all been through situations. We've all been through something that we had to deal with ourselves about it. But how many times has God had to deal with you? Don't just think about the latter part. Think about the part where you found yourself in the belly of something. And you were in the belly because of disobedience. It's important. It's important that you understand that God has called each of us to do something. Whether you like it or not, he has called you. He has called me. Lift your hands. Let me pray. Time is Father God, I pray today that in this message, that the word which is spoken will not go under. Heed it. That it will go to heart to somebody to understand that there is a call, a subtle call to fulfill a divine appointment, a divine assignment. That is for all of us. These four chapters were not placed in the middle just for a story to be told about a man that was swallowed up by a little fish. But it is the beginning, the middle and the ending that changes lives. For anybody in here today and anybody that's watching that's swallowed up because of disobedience, I come today to tell you that deliverance is here for you. But acknowledge. Acknowledge what God has called you to do. Acknowledge what you're called to fulfill. And when you do that, you will see what God wants to do for you. Lift your hands. Father, our God, we're grateful and thankful today. Today, Lord, we realize that we will not go the opposite direction. But we will go the way that you have called us. We'll find ourselves that we should walk in obedience and not disobedience. God, we heed your word. We use our skills and our abilities. That which you placed in us as an assignment to fulfill what we're called to be. God, we thank you. We bless you. For those that are watching, if you don't know Jesus Christ, you're a personal Savior. Today is your day to make that decision to give your life to Christ. We thank you for watching. Read this word, the book of Jonah, chapters 1 through 4. It will bless you in Jesus' name.